All right, guys, I know it's gonna be loud here, but uh, we're just uh, loaded up, packed up, getting some ice and some water, and gonna hit the road here. Where do you think we're going? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thanks for checking us out. My name is Daniel. I'm Jennifer. And we are Cherish, Cherish the, the Journey. Journey. What we want to tell you is things that we do and don't like about tent camping. So stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this video. Alright guys, welcome to the camping spot. And look at this view that we have. This is our view for the next weekend. Okay guys, so a couple things that we really do like about tent camping, and this is something that even people that have a rig, have an RV, whatever can do is we have a propane fire pit and we absolutely love it. And we have not had an actual real fire since we got the propane fire pit because you can sit around a fire and you don't have to worry about continuing to put wood on the fire. You don't have to worry about the smelling of the smoke on you or on all of your stuff. And you also don't have to worry about trying to make sure that you put your fire out at the end of the night and making sure that it is completely out that there are no embers and that the fire is cool before you go to bed. With a propane fire pit, you just simply turn it off and go to bed. So that's why we switched to a propane pit and I, I don't think we'll ever look back. No. We really like our propane pit. And then something new that we have because we tent camp this weekend is we have a buddy heater and we actually surprisingly didn't need to use it um, overnight because the type of tent that we have kept us really warm mm -hmm. but it was nice to have when we wanted to turn off the fire pit and not go through so much of the propane and the propane tank that we had hooked up to our fire pit so that was kind of a nice way to stay warm if it was still cold and we wanted to turn off the fire okay everyone so like daniel said this is our view and we actually when we show you our truck you'll see we backed our truck up so that when we wake up in the morning, this would be our view. And it's been the most amazing view um, that we've been able to wake up to. So this is our camp chef. As you can see, Daniel took the flat top off so we could use it to make the coffee. And that's one thing when you're tent camping, you if you want coffee, you're gonna have to percolate it um, either over a fire if you do a real fire, or you can percolate it if you have a camp chef, you can do it over there um, on that. So we use that for the, for the coffee and then 
Of course, we put the flat top up when we're getting ready to cook breakfast and lunch and dinner and things like that. So that's that. And then we put the table right next to it. So when we're actually using the Camp Chef, there's a lot more that goes on here. But when we're not using something, we just want to put it back. So as you can see, we have like paper towels and then our hand washing station over there. Um, but as I said, when we're actually cooking and getting ready and prepping, this table is a lot more full. Okay, so the next thing we want to show you is our tent. So we don't have the normal regular tent on the ground. Daniel actually found a truck tent. So it goes in the bed of your truck and of course you still put the all of the little bars and stuff in like you would a normal tent. Um, but this is what a truck tent looks like. Let me step over the heater. This is, what it, this is what our truck tent looks like. Um, simple, easy. We have the, um, I don't know if you can see it, but we have the little hanger thing that we can put the light in. So that way at night when we come in here, we can see what we're doing and to lay down. Um, as you can tell, we have quite a few blankets. It's been cold at night, so these blankets have helped keep us warm. I think one con about this truck tent that Daniel and I didn't realize is um, we put down two sleeping bags and then we had a blanket that we put on top of that to lay down with but the only downside to that is that we could still feel the roughness of the truck bed and it made it really hard for us to sleep so knowing that now Daniel and I can go get like some kind of thin air mattress or some kind of even just thin like foam mattress to put down first because then with the more cushion, the better we'll be able to sleep. So that's been an experience this weekend, um, trying to sleep. And when you when you toss and turn, you can just feel the little grooves of the bed of the truck, like kind of hurting you. And so it wasn't the most comfortable, but it was our first time, it was a learning experience. And now we know what we can do different next time to make it more comfortable. So one other thing that we love is our mat that we get to put out so that way you don't pick up the dirt and keeps the dirt down as well. Um, the other thing is our dog buddy. He loves to be outside. He loves camping. We got a, a cage for him only because at nighttime we don't want him wandering around but otherwise he's good he doesn't really wander around that much anyway um, but if you have dogs that like to wander and they're they're not trained or whatever maybe get a cage like that so that way you can keep them corralled or whatever you need to do so guys another thing that we don't like about tent camping is that you have to go to the bathroom outside typically you would see a toilet tent we're far enough away this time where there's we're not by any trails or anything and so we just put the toilet right outside without the tent and nobody's around to see us but typically you would use a toilet tent because if you're camping nearby anybody um, you just need that privacy because nobody needs to see that <laughs> anyway um, what I found when I found this particular toilet was um, really cool because it had the attachment for the toilet paper holder and then kind of weird I think but the top part has a place where you could put your phone gross well, if someone's bored, they but anyway I digress so one of the things that we do is we have a shovel and you dig a hole underneath so that way you can everything goes down in the hole then when you're done you just use that same dirt that you dug up and you cover everything over that way it's no animals or nothing comes by and attracts it whatever um, but a tip that you could use is 
instead of just having that plastic liner in there and then you have to clean it, get a garbage bag and line the inside with a garbage bag so that way whenever you're done for the weekend or where, however long you're going for, that's all you have to clean up is pull that bag out, roll it up, roll it up and put it in your trash bags as you're leaving. So easy cleanup there. And one of the things at night though is toilet seats get cold. And especially for the women when they have to sit down, it gets cold. Not very pleasant to go to the bathroom late at night. So that is a downfall. That is one thing that we don't like as well. But you can't beat the views that you get when you're in a truck tent or just on a tent in the ground. So thankfully we're not going to be doing that much longer but we wanted to get the experience of going back out in a tent and we wanted to give you this video of how to tent camp for the first time if you've never done it and pretty easy to do so guys I hope you love this video as much as we loved making it for you make sure that you give us a great big thumbs up and make sure you leave a comment down below tell us what you liked about the video tell us if we missed something or if you want to add other comments to help other people watching this video as well and with that always remember to cherish the journey and cherish the moment that you're in and until next time we'll see you later so make sure you check that out up here. Uh, so, other, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's still early. We haven't quite had all the coffee yet. The toilet seat is very cold. Did you get an ant? Get an ant. Yeah. <laughs>